All right, so this is going to be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, and as well rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading January 26th to February 2nd, uh, 2020. <clears throat> and uh, in case, guys, you want to get uh, in touch with me for a, a personal reading, uh, you can check on the description down below and there you there you are going to find a link to my website. Now, that being said, the reading itself is going to be a string reading, meaning seven cards in a row, whatever they show, they show no particular spreads, no particular positions, and it doesn't get any more general than that. So, uh, the first one for you guys, that is going to be the uh, Ace of Pentacles, and that week is going to have a, a fantastic start for what it seems. By the way, the, the Ace of Pentacles, it is the the best ace that can come up, at least according to my understanding, that is. I like that card one of the most in tarot, and it's definitely my favorite ace of the, among the four aces. It is because the Ace of Pentacles gives you that rare occasion or a rare opportunity for you to further your business, for you to further your relationship, to further your career, to further uh, the, uh, the uh, interactions with a specific person with a, a promise for a great success at the end of the road. It is because the Page of Pentacles, it is like a, um, an environment or a occasion, as I said, that will allow you to have, or it will give you a lot of content exhilaration for some of you is going to be like an ecstasy as well i mean what it is happening around you it is because it does promises successful business maneuvers um uh, increase into a monetary success as well harmonious flow into one's relationships and uh, above everything else the things that are unfolding with the page they are very very stable that comes from the um from the garden from the garden symbol into the card and the garden is a symbol of protection in tarot all right so you are to be protected with your endeavors moving on forward so it is highly unlikely throughout this week that whatever that uh, option for you is whatever that opportunity for you is to further your goal to deteriorate for the duration of the week that is and even beyond the duration of this week so my advice for you cancer is to just grasp it and to catch it you know that opportunity could manifest in many different cases that could be a proposition for a new job for a business proposition for a relationship or something happens and allows you to further your relationship and so on and so forth so that rare opportunity needs to be grasped ASAP as soon as it opens in front of you. Now, the other card here is going to be a person. We do have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups, these people, they are, uh, they have a necessity, okay? And it's like uh, being emotionally attached with something or with someone, it's like a breathing air for them. I mean, they cannot exist if they are not emotionally attached into something. And as this falls into your reading cancer well that person is emotionally attached to you now hold your horses guys they may not be romantically emotionally attached all right they could be just friends of yours but these people they are emotionally attached with you that person is emotionally attached with you it could be your child as well for uh, for all that i know and uh, the page of cups they these people as well they are kind of like they are seeing you as an, an example of someone and they are willing to change their ways in order to please you as best as they can and uh, for that reason <clears throat> this person here it will make some uh big changes into their life into their routine you know into their structure in general because what they see is the overview and not the details their overview it is you okay and they want to grasp on that overview rather than to stuck into those uh, into those details and for that reason there will be a kind of like shifting into behavior from these people and that should not baffle you they're doing it so they can please you as much as they can and just if i have to give you an example here say that will be a person you will get to know throughout this week you are giving them or you are making into them a strong impression and they want to be romantically involved with you but uh, it's kind of like they have certain behavior or certain um, how, how do you say it routines that are incompatible with you 
you so they make the necessary changes there so their life can become compatible with you this is what i am trying to say here with they are emotionally attached and are willing to do whatever it takes to change so they can become compatible with you and with your life the next one is going to be the nine of uh, nine of wands and nine of wands it is the card pointing that that week additionally to having this um tremendous opportunity to further your goal here it's also going to be a week where you will have a lot of freedom now contrary to the um general perspective of the nine of wands the nine of wands is a card of extraordinary freedom because the the nine of wands resides on a previous um experience if you will so you have a, a vast amount of previous experience that you can incorporate currently into your career or into your relationship into the entirety of your life and what happens it is that previous ex experience dictates to you that you need to make some changes into uh, the structure of your relationship into the structure of your career as well and those changes are going to be conscious changes meaning you will have the freedom to decide how to restructure your career your relationship your friendship your um how can i say it um your social circles and in generally your routine and it is highly advisable for you to do so now one thing with the nine of wands it is that you should not rush those changes to take place but you should carefully analyze and take uh, take your time basically to structure that plan of uh, of conscious changes because otherwise um it will they will do more more harm than good okay so they while you do have the freedom to restructure your environment the way that suits you best it needs to be done the right way instead of you know just doing it for the sake of doing it seeing that is going to um, actually cause more harm than actually good uh, the fourth card for you cancer is going to be justice and the justice card dictates few things here that throughout the week you need to have that astute discernment in regards to every situation because every situation will need to take part of your routine that card it is a sign that you simply cannot neglect anything okay whatever uh, comes in your way as a enterprise as a endeavor needs to take its place into uh into your schedule and the justice once again asks you that you need to have that as to discernment so you can identify which priority should set uh, set foot first which should set foot second and so on and so forth so it's kind of like you need to make that accurate string of all the responsibilities that you need to take on throughout the week and perform in a such a way that the you know, how can i say it the biggest priority or the more um, how do I say it? So everything is going to be priority, guys. But biggest, it doesn't mean uh, as a volume biggest. But biggest does mean as a importance. Okay, so the most important priority needs to take place first. Then less important, then less important, then less important. And that may cause a little bit of a, a conflict here. It is because you may uh, kind of like... Um, how can I say it? You may not want to attend to the most important priority at that particular point. You may want to take the biggest priority at that point. Okay. To give you an example, you want to buy yourself a house, but in the same time, you kind of have a little bit of a grudge and, and disagreements into the family. So the most important priority, sort the things with your family but you may want to first buy the house which is the biggest the bigger priority so you need to have that astute discernment once again which is the most important which is the biggest and you need to kind of make your string in a such a way that you start from the most important priority moving on to the least important priority okay uh, additionally to that the judgment points that throughout this uh, week justice will be served which doesn't mean that you are going to get on top of it all right it is just whatever happens it is just okay so the next one which is uh, the fifth card here that will be the chariot and the chariot itself it is a quite positive card it does represents a triumph it does represents a victory and the best thing about the chariot it is that it does represents victory against all odds so the card itself it does points that this um 
drive throughout this week for you, Cancer, it will be dappled with many, many challenges. Challenges that you can actually overcome, not with ease, but in the same time overcome and prove yourself a force to be reckoned with, especially if you do have enemies here and there. I mean, that is going to, uh, this, how can I say it? This triumph and these victories of yours are going to make them uh, have a second guess should they, should they challenge you, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Now, the thing with the chariot here, it is that, uh, how can I say it, you need to uh, leave your own personal impression or signature, engrave your own personal signature into the, uh, into the triumphs that you are making, meaning that you have to deal with them alone. You can't really re rely on any help coming from uh, different sides, you know, friends, family, neighbors, and so on and so forth. Not that they won't help you, but it is just after that, the triumph is not gonna be yours and therefore the rewards are not going to be uh, yours. But what I can say here with the chariot card is that it kind of speaks for a um, amplified self-esteem and uh, recognition and as well how how do you say it? it's just the word the jump off my mind now um com it's not confidence it is like seeing yourself how strong you are okay uh, after throughout this week so yeah there will be challenges but those challenges will help you to see uh, your true strength and what you truly are capable of and you're gonna like it. Uh, you're going to identify that actually the things you have set in front of yourself are, are a piece of cake and you can definitely overwhelm and overcome whatever problem arises into your career or um, into your relationship. But with those two cards here that we do have, it does point that no matter how, uh, what kind of responsibilities you have to tackle with throughout this week, and no matter how big as a uh, volume and how um, how complex they are, you can definitely will be able to uh, manage them. So the next one, which is the sixth card for you, uh, Cancer, that is going to be the Seven of Swords, and Seven of Swords is a card that um, asks you to have a strong backbone and to actually stand for your stand for your personal rights meaning that you should not allow anybody to um take you as a uh, insignificant piece of the puzzle, if you will. That card represents as well that you need to start working for your own personal agenda rather than contribute contribute for a, a foreign personal agenda. So the way I see it here, uh, Cancer, it is that this week it is entirely about you guys. It is not about your neighbors, once again. It is not about your friends. It is not about how you can contribute for someone else's goals, but it is about you sorting your personal stuff around and actually over, not overwhelming them, but dealing with them and being tri and triumphing over them. Um, relying entirely on your personal skills, efforts, and as well uh, resources. Seven of Swords, uh, it's basically that, that card should manifest by the end of the week and it does, to me, it's a sign that ultimately at the end you are going to collect uh, the payment that you have been owned, either uh, owed, excuse me, that's uh, either emotional payment or a, a physical payment in term of money, it is because you will kind of like despite injustice at that particular point. That is the thing with the seven of wands. It is that the um, self righteousness it's highly exaggerated, and whoever did you wrong, they need to stand against you. Um, or in front of you, that is, and they need to answer for that quote-unquote crime that they have committed against you, treating you in a bad, uh, in a bad way. And the last card that we do have for you guys is going to be the Page of Pentacles. So that is another person here that we do have for you, Cancer. And this one, um, it's um, how how do I say it? It's a person who is rather very slow what kind of a role they uh, that person plays into uh, into your life in that particular case it is that they are trying to identify is it worth going forward with you either in a business environment or either in a relationship environment or is it not worth going into it is because for them 
investing in you in, and, and in your endeavor is like investing in everything or they are they are contemplating should they invest everything they got into you and into your endeavors or should they not invest anything into you or into uh, your endeavors now the page of pentacles uh, they um their devotion is very big and that's why uh, at some point uh, the page of pentacles is rather afraid to jump into action because they may lose everything for them is either everything or nothing all right and as a uh, um, last card here into this reading for you cancer and having the the other page here at the start of the reading the way i see it, it is that probably that page of pentacles had in mind for you uh, something for you either a relationship or either a business partnership uh beforehand but the other page stepped in the other person stepped in and it kind of like a uh it's basically um, how can i say it uh, well it was the first on the stage okay and uh, it's simply that page of pentacles can no longer takes its place it is basically they have delayed way too much the situation of approaching you and you have been approached by someone else uh it could be a love triangle you know it could be a love triangle and at that point this love triangle looking at the previous cards it has to be resolved by you you can't simply stay uh stay aside and look at these two people trying to win you in any way you have to judge at the end of the day whom you are whom you are going to be with or whom you want to be with it could be as well triangle in business and so on and so forth so that being said gemini um cancer this was uh, your weekly uh, general tarot reading january 26 to february 2nd 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other uh, next time until then bye